This is Shelly Craft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the LD Micro Invitational 2015 in Bel Air, California. I have with me Ian Rodwell, MoCo Social Media. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is M-O-K-O. -O. Ian, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you for having me, Shelly. It's good to have you. Thank you. So let's get an overview of MoCo. So MoCo is a... Um, we, we produce highly bespoke, customized social media platforms. And by that we mean that we tailor these communities and these uh, mobile products to the audience that has a specific interest in whatever they, they do. So a good one might be sports. Give me an example of how you would work in that. So in the case of sports, we actually uh, specialize in college and high school sports. So we've produced a platform that enables the students in the case of the college to be able to discover what's on on their campus, register, join a team and then once they do that then they can follow each other or their teammates, they can get all of their schedules, their stats, their standings, all of the updates about what's going on um, in their relevant activities on campus. In the case of high schools it even goes beyond that to parents so the parents can track what their kids are doing and where they're playing and what they're, you know, what, what's happening. So would anybody in the real world compare you to Facebook somehow? Yeah, we do get that. Um, the thing is, we actually use Facebook a lot. Um, we have several Facebook groups where we um, publish our own content through those different Facebook pages and channels. But we're very different because Facebook is a generic platform and we're a highly tailored platform, which is why I said we're a bespoke social media company. And so we, um, we produce things that can't be done uh, through a traditional Facebook platform. Like what? So in the case of the, the inner, uh, intramural collegiate one, you, you need specific data that comes out of every high school and, and, and every, every college. The, the, the stats, the standings, the schedules are all published in a real-time basis um, that is unique to each school and is only, uh, and it's private to that school. So uh, all of that kind of information needs to run on a specific platform. Are you the only ones doing this? Is, are you the first doing it? Because this, this could, I could see the size. Right, and um, yes we are. That's why we're so excited about it because uh, we have the exclusivity um, when it comes to the, the uh, universities and the high schools that we're working with. In the case of the college space, we are the exclusive platform on nearly a thousand universities across the US. And that's the top half of the, of the university population. In the case of high schools, we have the exclusivity on more than 4,300 high schools. So um, yes, we're the only ones in the space. Believe it or not, uh, there was nobody doing it before we came along. Um, and that's why we were able to get in and establish such a good footprint. What's your background? Uh, so I've been around, I'm pretty old, I've been around in uh, digital media since it began. I started off uh, with a design firm that did corporate marketing and, and you know, for, for big sort of public companies. I moved into digital media in the late 80s, um, but bought my first Apple Mac in 1989, I think. I think I did require a second mortgage to, to, to buy it as they were pretty expensive in those days. How do you make money? Essentially, it's broadly advertising, but more specifically, it's things like sponsorships and campaign management. Um, an example where would be a uh, footwear manufacturer or an apparel uh, brand would come to us and say, we want to reach your audience. We want to sponsor some of the content that you're creating. We want to sponsor some video. We want to run campaigns around uh, competitions or certain promotions or marketing, and they pay us for that access to the audience. So what are some other sectors that you might cover besides sports because that's I hit on a good one you did you picked the first one which is obviously our, our jewel in the crown but we also um, it's kind of sports we we have a division which is called active lifestyle we have a, uh, a brand and a site called run haven which uh, specializes in um, essentially the what we call the millennial women so that is um, you know people be, women between 25 and 45 they may be serious runners or they may just be somebody who's trying to get fit again after having a baby or they're just interested in a healthy lifestyle. Um, and that sort of branches off into other areas like yoga and other nutrition and other things. We have a third division which is politics and um, it doesn't sort of sound off the, off the top to be sort of uh, matching the other areas but it actually does because we know that there's a lot of politically active people at university 
We also know there's a lot of people who are interested in politics who are also interested in running. Um, but we have a big community around uh, the politics. We have a product called Blue Nation Review. We have uh, over 4 million monthly active unique users in that and we reach around 75 million through our social channels. So, Did you invent this? Did I invent the mobile internet? No. <laughs> well, maybe you did. I don't know. I'm not going to say you didn't. But who's the creator of this technology for you? Well, um, I founded the company, but I didn't do it on my own. I mean, I had some great people around me. Um, I essentially had the initial idea to create these bespoke community platforms. Um, but, uh, you know, I didn't invent the technology per se. What I invented was really the way to use the existing technologies and create this, this uh, bespoke utility. And the last question that I have before I ask you for your website is, where did the name MoCo come from? Well, MoCo is, is interesting. When we were trying to come up with a name for the company, I wanted something that was short and sharp and easy to say. And I actually had a guy working for me who was a Maori guy from New Zealand. And uh, he said, uh, what about this word MoCo? And, and he was thinking because it sounded like mobile communities. And I'm saying, well, what is it? And he said, it's actually the name that we give to the tribal tattoos. So that is called your moko. And that means the pattern that the tattoo is will define whether you're a fisherman or a woodcarver or a hunter or whatever. And I thought, this is great. This is about a community around your tribal belonging. And so we thought that was perfect for us. You know, it makes sense to me. Yeah. So I want to do something now for our audience. Let's give your website out. So our website is mocosocialmedia.com. That's the corporate website. But you can also go to runhaven.com or bluenationreview.com or recketcollege.com. Ladies and gentlemen, all those names. But he's Ian Rodwell from Moco Social Media. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is M-O-K-O. -O. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. And we are coming to you live from LD Micro Invitational 2015 Bel Air, California. Ian, thank I want to thank you for coming on to SNN. Thank you for having me. Thank You're you very much. Welcome.